Nostalgia is the biggest drug they say. And I have two gentlemen here with me who are hell bent on injecting a strong dose in each of us. But before we get into the details, let me introduce them and welcome them. They are both masters of their own domains. Uh, let me start with the very respected Amit Singhal, CEO and MD of Asian Paints Limited, and Piyush Pandey, creative genius and veteran ad maker. Thank you for joining us on Head Turners by Impact and E4M. Thank you so much for inviting us. Thank you. You know, let's start with Har Ghar Kuch Kehta Hai, which you've decided to bring back after 22 years. Now, I've been chasing, uh, you know, tracking your journey, Asian Paints ads over the years, and each of them have been very, very memorable and spectacular in their own way. Why did you then decide to bring out, bring back this one ad after so many years? So what we see is that, uh, you know, there are some things which are iconic, some things which always are ageless and timeless. Uh, this is one part of a journey which is something which really turned the tables for us and something which really projected us in the area of homes very strongly. And when we kind of really got into this way back in 2001, I think we realized that homes was that part of the journey which was becoming so important as part of our own lives and it was moving away from just the celebration around festivals in terms of what we used to appropriate very strongly mm -hmm. and the whole area of the uh, high voltage emotion which people were putting in homemaking was something which was very very big and I think that's the time when this idea generated in terms of saying that Asian paints and homes are really connected and how do we kind of really bring this idea to life to that extent mm -hmm. and therefore I would say that at that point of time, it was the creative genius uh, of Piyush that when we just floated the idea of home, okay, is where he came up with this whole iconic idea in terms of the ghar ghar, how it kind of really came to life. And today we see that while we have done so much of innovative stuff in terms of really looking at so many prepositions and so many other areas in terms of what we brought in. We thought this is something which is really ageless. This is something which has always stayed with people and it is so true in mm -hmm. today's world as well. And therefore, we felt the relevance of it kind of really made us think in terms of really bringing it back to its life. Very true. You know, I, I want to ask you, Mr. Pandey, now in the past few years, we've seen so many brands kind of uh, changing their philosophy, changing their look and feel to kind of keep up with the changing time. And to your credit, you've created this tagline which has defied time and you know which Asian Paints has decided to keep for 22 years and I'm sure for many more years ahead. How did that really come about? You know, what is the big story behind how you created See, there that? are moments, to be very honest, there are moments of magic that happen. <laughs> and they happen not just like that. There is an environment in which you are working and the magic happens in the context. We were working on this thing of saying there are, a home is an extension of your personality. And uh, there's another partner of ours, uh, Madhukar Sabnabesi, he was working with us as a planner. We used to get together and in that environment, one magic moment came to me and I started writing. Mm -hmm. With no strategy in front of me, nothing in front of me. I wrote something without changing a single alphabet. And I called up Amit and his uh, boss that time, KBS Anand, mm -hmm. and uh, I said, what are you doing in your office? They are working, what else? And I said, drop it right now, get into your car and come to my office. They said, I said, come. And we have a relationship of the kind, they say, okay, must be meaningful. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it was daytime, so it was nothing other meaningful. So, <laughs> so they drove in and when they came in, I just read out what I had written. Mm -hmm. Same as what that is. And all three of us hugged each other, we had moist eyes because we knew that we were sitting on something which was here for everyone around, wherever you are in the world. And uh, so I would say, to answer your question, yes, uh, the magic moment came from God. The context we had built on, mm -hmm. the acceptance was absolutely spontaneous by Namit and KBS. And uh, then we are sitting 22 years later and saying it's young and fresh enough to be rerun. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I also I was trying to trace back your journey with Asian Pains. And, you know, as uh, uh, Mr. Pandey just said, uh, you were heading marketing at that time. 
so when he came when he gave you that call he made that call and he told you that you know please come let's hear this out what was your thought do you really you know there's one thing to like the campaign and the idea and one thing to actually feel that this is going to last for years and years did that thought strike you that this is evergreen so first of all when piyush gave the call we were thought it was for some other purpose in terms of and not possibly only for uh, listening to what he has written and uh, we actually i think uh, said that you know if piyush is saying it's important we might as well kind of go and listen to him in terms of what he's saying and i can only tell you that uh, see while we had done all the work around saying that home is an important entity and we need to kind of get into that extent uh, i think the way he recited it we actually told piyush saying you know we are just loving what you have written and i remember that you know he told us this two or three times and every time he told us we could see our hair standing and we could kind of really feel it in terms of what this magic was kind of building up and you know as he rightly said at that point of time you know it was these words where the har ghar was born literally so he wrote it as a uh, you know something which was the copy in terms of what he was saying as a voice over to that extent but this the way the entire thing folded it started and ended with har ghar Mm-hmm. okay and that became the corporate positioning for us in terms of going forward so well to that extent and there are see these moments of magic as he rightly said because uh, what came out was something which was really touching our hearts immediately it was not something which was uh, contrived it was not something which was imposed it was something which was natural and we felt very strongly that it cuts across segmentation it cuts across various profiles to that extent and i think we just loved the idea and we said we are on on to it and let's kind of really see in terms of how we can bring this magic on you know other I, I, let me interrupt you here because i'll complete what i'm saying none of us realized that this could be a business philosophy as he rightly said and one day i remember he called me up and said you you know it seems like a business plan i am getting into kitchens i am getting into har ghar yeah abhi bahut kuch karne wala hai <laughs> so it fit into that har ghar uh, honest thing is at that point of time did we see it that way no when it came when it opened up then possibilities were seen by them and uh, we moved yeah. forward at that point of time we discussed you know are we really ahead of the time really in terms of appropriating uh, home decor uh, you know in this way because the if you see the ad was more purist it was not about just showing painting it was not showing about just walls to that extent it was showing the home in its pure form and i think the beauty of the ad lied in, in the fact that it was about the whole emotions of home making may yeah. ek minute interrupt karu usme ek line hai which i really love which is not about paints mm-hmm. at all kehte hain is farsh pe nange pair kiske bacche chalte they were not making farsh it was nothing said about a paint yeah. So it was the har ghar kuch kehta hai doesn't have to sit paint all the time. Sorry, I'm no, no. And that's what I was trying to employ. <laughs> you know, it really became, uh, you know, it gave us a, a literally a fresh lease into really defining the strategy right. going forward. And that's how today we see that how we have evolved in terms of really the whole area of just not about the share of surface, but the share of space within the homes. So I think what started. as the purity about the home has really evolved into something which is now really very very true about in terms of the space we play with very interesting it's not one of it's one of those intuition over data research ideas no, right no, which kind of you talk about it <laughs> <laughs> uh, you talk about it i'll forget what the intuition was <laughs> then that's the beauty which i think piyush brings i think uh, it's really the cut the feel the pulse i mm. think that's brilliant okay and because and some of these things which come in though with those measures i don't think so any research or strategy can bring very true you know another another thing we've noticed is off late we've seen a lot of nostalgia based ads or products kind of coming back one was your ad kuch khas hai which made a grand comeback recently then we have products like parley's rola cola camper cola some of them have of course got well received by the audience again and some of them not so much so now that you you know bringing back the same ad without much without any change actually uh, after 22 years we are seeing this big generation change that has happened in the in between how do you think it's going to appeal to the younger people uh, just like you know some it, younger people in our teams mm-hmm. had this question mm-hmm. so amit had a solution to that so let amit talk about it how did you solve that problem of the younger people some of them are in the room also <laughs> 
So, see, you know, uh, one of the reaction was that, you know, I, I, you know, some of the people who, when they voiced out saying that, you know, uh, what is the relevance to the younger generation in terms of what is there and, you know, I just called up Piyush and said that, Piyush, uh, there are some people who are just uh, voicing this kind of a zone and we've always considered and especially, you know, Piyush has always been the brand custodian in terms of really owning up the thing and he said, boss, this is an emotion. Mm -hmm. This is something which is universal. It's not something which today from generation to generation can change. It's an emotion in terms of what is the larger thing which we are appropriating to that extent. So whether it is the Gen Z or the millennial or whatever we kind of see, the emotion remains the same of home showcasing the personality of the people who stay within the home to that extent. It's just that their expression might be very different in terms of what they would like to bring onto the table. And today, I think if you look at the genesis of this, you are showing different generations in this ad, right from, you know, the old grandmother to a younger child to the home, the housewife to that extent. And you're showing various generations how they are appropriating in their own way in terms of what they like about the home. And the whole concept is so beautifully weaved in because today what we are saying is that every home is about the personality in terms of what you have. And it brings the life that an Asian prince is helping us just getting that closer to that emotion. So I, I strongly think, and that's what mm -hmm. he always proposes that anyone who's talking about this emotion not being pure is something which is called, you know, just saying crap. It just doesn't, doesn't work, literally. Pura and it's so true. Pura simple hai ki we are saying, Hargat Chup Chap se kehta hai ki andar usme korn rehta hai. Now korn could be a Gen Z, korn could be you, korn could be somebody older like me, korn could be har admi ho sakta hai. Uske baad mein nobody is trying to teach you ki isko aise karna. Let them be. And I'll have products enough so that I will fit into their needs and desires. Absolutely. Point of mind. Absolutely. And I, I think it also goes with your philosophy. I remember talking to your team uh, when you released that Mon the Mondelez uh, Kuch Khaas ad. But you said you should not touch a masterpiece. If you're yeah. remaking it, you either come up with a plan on why it should be relevant. And if it's already relevant, don't touch it. I think that goes perfectly that with it. That's yes. the philosophy we are taking here also. There is, you know, when you have mm -hmm. literally his master's voice in that. So why do you <laughs> want to do, have to touch it? <laughs> <laughs> right. The only thing we have changed is that. From 2002 to now, our logo has changed. So we just changed the logo. But we have not added anything. We have done mm -hmm. nothing at all. The essence is the same. Yeah, essence. Right. You know, another thing that has changed, hasn't changed since then is that you were market leaders then and you are market leaders now, Asian Paints overall. But of course, you've added new categories. You have you are into home decor, uh, innovation. I mean, there are a lot of things that have happened over time. Uh, tell me what is really the reason why uh, you have managed to retain that number one spot in a, in a category which has had many players today. Uh, is it innovation? Uh, is it the fact that you have uh, a product for all kinds of people, affordable, luxury, everything? Or is it your distribution network? You know, it is. I would say none of these. Mm -hmm. It's the consumer. You know, so long as you own the emotion around the consumer and you can say, that you are that preferred brand in terms of which the consumer says that I am with this brand, I really associate with this brand. I think that's something which really separates. And I think uh, what we've done over the last, uh, you know, two to three decades is we kept that emotional life. And there is where I think which differentiates our brand so strongly that you always work to the core in terms of appealing to the consumer what really matters to the consumer. So when the consumer is saying, Hey, I'm looking at something different which comes to my house, which gives it a new feel, but it still reflects my personality. Mm -hmm. So if you see the thought is still the same, and I think that is what possibly I say that the core value of Asian paints has always remained the same, which is bringing, you know, joy and happiness to people's lives. And I think uh, we've been really strongly working on that paradigm. All the other things are just things which are propelling that thought. Mm -hmm. So whether it is innovation in terms of newer products or it is our getting into now the home decor category in terms of really embracing the whole area of the share of space or it is the distribution strength in terms of which basically makes the consumer get that product, you know, mm -hmm. at, at such a short notice from your neighborhood to that extent. I think the genesis all kind of gives it that you've got your ear to what the consumer wants and you are still live to the emotion 
of the consumer saying here is a brand who knows what you want and what is the emotion you appropriate and that is something which we stand for super so your your emotional goals are something that you're living with Absolutely. what is your financial goal and you know do you, now your leaders in india do you want to be leaders globally and is there a timeline that you've defined for yourself see uh, as we see it uh, you know uh, if you look at the journey 4 years back you know we were uh, closer to about something like 19000 crores and now i think in 4 years we have touched about 36000 crores in terms of we have doubled the uh, turnover and uh, what we are very proud of ourselves is that you are making yourself more and more relevant okay and we are part of the you know the home decor life cycle of the customer okay and i always keep on repeating this that right from the first renting out of the space to the first ownership to the first renovation to the second home mm -hmm. to the kids home you're talking of saying that i'm completing the full life cycle and still say relevant in that entire life cycle of the brand very very strongly and that is something which we have been appropriating very strongly and therefore you see this whole thing of the diversification into home decor in terms of what we are bringing and this is something which we are now trying to stake forward in terms of looking at some of the spaces even outside india in terms of what we are kind of working now today we are talking of opening a store in dubai in terms of from a point of view of home decor what we want to kind of do so i think uh, our entire aim is that if you keep on living in this space that you are kind of committed to bringing joy and happiness in people's lives across that is a aim we would like to prophesize today we are amongst the top 5 players globally to that extent we are the company which possibly talks of the you know the second most uh, expensive brand in terms of from a market cap point of view at a global level so i think some of those aims stay in terms of where it is but what really matters is that are you really progressing and taking the consumer head are you really getting more interest in terms of their lives as you kind of go ahead and therefore i think geographies don't matter really to that extent what really matters is that are you sitting at the core of this proposition and propagating yourself as you kind of go ahead super and and another thing that hasn't changed is your partnership with ogilvy and piyush uh very candid answer expected from you is it because of the brand piyush pande or is it ogilvy that so the partnership has answer to answer that <laughs> I, i want to ask you that. sure See, this relationship goes back to 1984 that's right yes. and uh, i joined ogilvy in 1982 mm -hmm. there was a nobody he joined asian paints in 1990 in 1990 he was a nobody relationship had been going on i came in to work on the creative side of it only around the uh, late 80s early 90s mm -hmm. so the relationship belongs to company individuals strengthened it from time to time from time to time and there are so many people on both sides that we know stood for the same values took it forward somebody took it more forward and now he's taking it even further so uh, i can say on his behalf also that today he is at the helm i was in, at the helm for a long time but are we the who are can we say i am asian paint you know, i i think he can say yes i am a important player of the team asian paint and same i can say for rogil mm -hmm. yeah and you know just to add to what pushy says i think uh, what personalities do is they only spark up the relationship correct okay you know the relationship continues to that extent and therefore i think uh, one of the important facets of uh, you know people like pushy and you know what i try to bring is that it is our duty that we kind of really keep this relationship live and kind of really going by the work which we are doing today across because i think it is physically impossible that pushy would kind of really come into everything in terms of what we are doing to that extent so i think True. it's the full body of work which really matters but our, and there are some individuals who are just kind of pro propelling that relationship and kind of giving it a new direction in terms of where you can take it you know just just to be the devil's advocate here i want to understand you know we are hearing of so many pitches happening where brands are trying to find out which are the best best suited agencies for them and relationships like these seem very very rare so would you say 5 year 5 or 10 years from now you know such decade long relationships are going to become a thing of nostalgia where you know you are maybe sitting with your young guns and saying hamare zamane mein brands used to trust agencies or can i turn it around completely 
कि फाइव इयर्स फ्रॉम नाउ दीज पीपल विल बी पुलिंग देयर हेयर आउट एंड सेइंग कि यार क्या बकवास किया था चलो कुछ लॉन्ग लास्टिंग रिलेशनशिप बनाते हैं और आल्सो यू नो एंड आई ऑलवेज फील दैट यू नो ब्रांड्स हु आर नॉट क्लियर अबाउट देयर ओन स्ट्रेटजीज दे थिंक ऑफ गेटिंग द स्ट्रेटजीज फ्रॉम अ न्यू पिच करेक्ट ओके आई थिंक ब्रांड्स ऑन अ ओवरऑल थिंग वी नीड टू बी क्लियर इन टर्म्स ऑफ व्हाट यू आर परसिंग बिकॉज़ you know the strategies and ideas are coming from a coexistent of, of both mm-hmm. you know it can't be that you are hunting for new ideas through new pitches so one has to be very clear in terms of why you are looking for a new pitch a new agency in terms of what you are bringing on the table i strongly feel that today you know if your relationship is strong okay your work will reflect in terms of that to that extent okay but you can't hunt for new strategies by just doing a new pitch so so beautifully put it, it's almost like saying a known person not cracking a problem i can sit with that person and Absolutely. say let's crack the problem rather than saying acha koi hai jo crack karega so i i think the value of relationships whether it's in our personal lives or in at work i think it's the same principle applies happiness and may this relationship continue now another thing i want to ask you yes <laughs> another thing i want to ask you is you know no you are like we discussed home decor uh, that wasn't a very big category few years ago today how much does it contribute to your overall revenue so i think uh, we are still fairly young in terms of what we are pursuing because uh, uh, today uh, it contributes to about 4% of a decorative turnover to that extent our aim is to kind of take it to about 8 to 10% of our overall business as we see Uh, it's a category which uh, is like a fashion industry it's not something which is uh, that you do something and then you can just sit back and relax and see in terms of what is going to happen it's about you know what is the new trend the what is the new area which you are bringing in terms of that decor which you want come on to kind of push it's also about uh, really becoming uh, you know an integrated home decor player it's not about just embracing one or two categories and typically what we've seen in india is that there are only one or two specialist of a brand who have come into an organized business so whether it is the whole area of furnishings or whether it is the whole area of rugs or something we have only specialized players which are there what we are attempting is something which is very different we are talking of everything within the home space now that is something which is uh, fairly ambitious in terms of what we are taking because uh, i felt strongly that you can't talk of just categories you have to speak about the space home because that's what we are appro- appropriating and that is where har ghar stands so pure in terms of what we are bringing and you know piyush and i were discussing saying that way back in 2002 we never imagined that we were talking of home decor at that point of time where the couple was really talking of whether it was the furniture whether it was the flooring whether it was all those things which was coming which has come live now in terms of this home decor and initiative like, and the today. line that piyush mentioned Absolutely. the floor That's line i think that also fits beautifully with what we do in today fact, uh, amit said one day that we it, we have just opened up as if it's a business plan mm-hmm. so i think it's unfolding i, I see it unfolding as he said rightly some are new some are some have already been established so i think the game goes on yeah and i think the biggest part of this home decor journey is that uh, as i said i think it is complementary to the core business okay it's not something which is a diversification which is totally into an unrelated space to that extent so we are very much within the home and we know the home consumer so well in terms of how we are kind of going ahead and therefore we feel that uh, this whole proposition of decor under one roof is what we are appropriate through various store formats which are coming and now we are talking of uh, you know opening one of the biggest stores in india in terms of what we want to do it was something which we will unveil in q3 which kind of comes up mm-hmm. and uh, we are really saying that we really bring something which is very different in this industry and that is why we are talking of the whole formats like which we are talking of digital stores so it's married with technology it is married with respect to how the home journey can be really kind of regulated and something new which comes into the place so the ambition is that you are talking about being a strong player in becoming a integrated home decor player mm. rather than just looking at embracing various categories interesting you know and one one question i wanted to uh, ask you is you know we've seen asian paints uh, with many brand ambassadors across different products but we've never had this one big you know uh, the mother company's brand ambassador is there a reason why you chose not to have one for that and second is 
uh, over the years, uh, which is that brand ambassador that according to you has made the most, uh, you know, sense or, you know, has been the most popular or is closest to what Asian paints really stand for? Vasuril Babu. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say that, you know, uh, and that is something which we always discuss. See, no brand ambassador makes the brand, literally. Okay. okay. I think what is very important is like in our corporate campaign, we've not used anywhere a brand ambassador. It's the common man. It's the mm. common belief. It's what really touches the consumer at the heart to that extent. Some of the brand ambassadors come in, they play a certain specific role in terms of really saying that you want a brand to kind of go into a level of sophistication. You want to go a brand in terms of a certain luxury space to that extent. So when we got Deepika, we had very clear that we wanted to push uh, royal from a space of royalty to a place of sophistication to that extent and that's what basically uh, you know her demeanor her personality in terms of what we used in terms of really getting into that space which was something which we wanted uh, real entrenchment to that extent similarly you know when we used uh, a ranbir uh, to that extent a ranbir's role was more in terms of looking at appropriate a brand in a certain category to that extent and bring possibly a certain element in terms of what he brings because of his stature and so on and so forth. But I think the real successful campaigns have been more from the point of view of what we did. For example, the Meravala Blue. Okay, The Meravala Blue was a very simple ad. It did not have any brand personality, but it is something which is even remembered today. Okay, Sunil Babu in terms of what you just spoke of. Okay, Everyone remembered Sunil Babu in terms of what essence comes. So, I, I, I think what you... Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Um, that not dependent on on using brand uh, celebrities mm -hmm. it is for a purpose when and that's the difference that i see uh, between what is happening around us and what they have done is that naam ke vaste is there a role that the person Absolutely. plays and we talked about royal royal i was a part of the team that launched royal nothing has changed it was it was sophistication and royalty, it was Tiger Patrani, which was two in one. Who yeah. K. Today's expression of that is in the. I think the best thing they have done is that use the celebrity for a purpose to make it larger than life. So you look at, for example, the recent example in terms of we took Virat Kohli for Neo Bharat. Okay, the very fact that we wanted to kind of say that uh, Har Ghar Khelega, Har Ghar Khelega. You know, the whole expression was something which we wanted a larger reach, okay. Mm -hmm. It was also to catch larger eyeballs in terms of people really associating and we felt that as a brand when you are really kind of approaching every Indian to that extent. I think it really carried because today cricket is a religion mm -hmm. and that is why we yeah. thought that it is a good area to kind of appropriate uh, and getting Virat to kind of really just have this messaging in terms of that you are reaching out to every Indian in a very strong way to that extent. So I think uh, we have used various brand ambassadors over a period of time, but everyone with a purpose in terms of where we want to get up. But I would still say that our hero brand ambassador is still the common man. Well said. Very well said. I have one last question uh, for you, Piyush. Uh, and I remember Asian Paints used to have this series called Har Ghar Kuch Kehta Hai, where you would go to celeb homes and you it know ask them. It was the most fantastic thing that they did yeah. on their own. Yeah. And I have to salute <laughs> okay. that. In fact, a few days back when we met, I, I said, it was so fantastic that uh, it was so emotional. People got so emotional going back to their China places homes, where they yeah. were grown up. I think suddenly the brand becomes larger than life. That you are able to touch people's lives. As he said, it is about people. Yeah. And make sense to those who are interested in the lives of those people whose homes uh, I, you are visiting. Yeah, true. I, I, you can <laughs> carry on with the patient. That my. One of the favorite things on her is called where the heart is. Yeah. Interesting. So my my question to you is: We all know that you live in a beautiful villa in Goa. Piyush Pandey ji ka ghar kya kehta hai? Ghar ka naam malum aapko. Bilkul sahi kehta hai. It's called the pavilion. Cricket. जब मैं थक जाता हूँ तो वहाँ बैठता हूँ. When I want to see the game, I go onto the balcony and see the game. Not to relax and relax there. <laughs> and when I have to work, I go into the closet and do voiceovers for him. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. 
Thank you so much for taking us down the memory lane. And I hope everyone, old or new, connects with this ad which you brought to life 22 years ago. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Thank much. you. We have no doubt you. on that.